It's Friday, August 30th, 2024, and before I start today's video, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. All right, we're back at Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe to wrap up a few of the items that I didn't get last Saturday for the Halloween season. This is the pear blackberry cheesecake crostata, which comes with fresh pears with New York cheesecake and black cherry blackberry jam in a pie crust topped with caramel. And the hazelnut brownie tart with chocolate frosting has a hazelnut spread with brownie filled filling topped with chocolate frosting and sprinkles. The pear blackberry cheesecake crostata is very good. I think the pear and blackberry jam go really good together I actually like the cheesecake it's still not overly sweet with that the only thing I really didn't taste at all was the caramel I don't taste it I don't see it I mean here's a close-up it's supposed to be drizzled on top I don't know where it's at but still even without the caramel it's a very good item the hazelnut brownie tart with chocolate frosting if you're a fan of chocolate and fudge, I think you're going to enjoy this. If you're a fan of hazelnut, I think you're going to be disappointed because honestly, I can barely taste any, if at all, the hazelnut flavoring. If there was, in, if it was in there, it was very minor. But you get plenty of chocolate, and they're rather generous with the frosting on top. It's actually pretty thick. So, if you're a chocoholic. I have recommend getting this item. All right, the next stop is the Churro Cart in New Orleans Square, adjacent to what is currently Haunted Mansion Holiday. And we're actually gonna be here with, for the bride churro. I've tried the churro, groom churro before and they, uh, dark and milk chocolate sprinkling is just way too chalky and dry and then we're also going to get the couple's first kiss and that's a side of strawberry sauce with wedding cake and you dip it with either your bride or groom churro and like i said we're going to get the bride churro which is elegantly dressed in a bouquet of vanilla and sugar thank you strawberry and here is the bride's churro, which is vanilla and powdered sugar. And the couple's first kiss was a strawberry with strawberry sauce with wedding cake. And it sounds like these two things are gonna go together well, so hopefully they do. The churro was decently warm, considering we had a little bit of a walk to find seating. I like I said, out of these two churros, I definitely recommend the bride over the groom. The groom, the, the cocoa and the darkened milk chocolate dusting is just really dry and chalky and doesn't taste very good. And like I said, the bride, it's really good. It does go well with the uh, couple's first kiss. You don't really taste much of the wedding cake, but you do taste the strawberry and it complements the vanilla and sugar very well. Next stop is right next door to Harbor Gallery to try the Transylvanian Transfusion drink. And here's what it's supposed to look like. It is a dark berry and cherry punch garnished with fresh berries. So that looks like blackberries and raspberries. It actually looks pretty close to the picture. And this is the Transylvanian Transfusion with dark berry and cherry punch garnished with fresh berries. The only thing I'm wondering about here, sorry. Yeah, no berries in it. The garnish on top looks exactly like the picture, but the picture shows berries actually in with the punch, and as you can see, there are none. Oh well, still gonna give it a try. The drink's pretty good. Uh, the dark berry, 
flavor is definitely the overpowering profile in the drink. I don't really detect any cherry flavor at all. And uh, one thing I would recommend, you only get three pieces of fruit, but take a bite of the fruit, maybe even a small one, and then take a drink, and it probably works a little bit better and tastes a little bit better. <sighs> kind of hard to say I'm actually recommending it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. All right, since we're traversing the park here, I decided to just shoot this. Uh, you've got some decorated pumpkins here. Uh, Tarzan. You got Jack Skellington. You got Woody. Winnie the Pooh. Tinkerbell. Roger Rabbit. And Buzz, so Toy Story got two. And now I'm in Tomorrowland at Alien Pizza Planet and we're gonna grab the Halloween Alien Macaroon. And this is the Alien Buzz Macaroon. It's got a berry and cream filling. And as you can see, it's rather thick. So you're gonna get plenty of filling. The eyeballs are white chocolate. I'm not sure what the coating, the purple coating is. It might be white chocolate as well. That's usually their pattern. Uh, most of these macaroons are pretty much the same. The filling's gonna be really, really good, but the macaroon itself is gonna be a little too dry and crumbly. Yeah, this is just one of the problems Disney has. They really haven't mastered how to make these large macaroons proper. I'm gonna wrap up this video. And as I always do during Halloween time, I'm wrapping it up with Mickey winking because he knows he's cleaned out your wallet, your bank account, ran up all your credit cards, maxed them out, and probably caused you to take out a second mortgage on your home. So as my father told me when I was 18 years old, get out. <laughs>